I remember my, one of my oldest friends, Aria, had grown out of Mr. Rogers. And I was desperate to watch it while I was at her house. And uh, she was very resistant. And I said, well, don't you like Muppets? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, there are Muppets on Mr. Rogers in the land of make-believe. So if you like Muppets, therefore you like the show, Mr. Rogers, and therefore we will watch it. Well, Laverne and Shirley were pretty awesome women. Punky Brewster, um, big, big influence. Murphy Brown, that was later on. She's pretty quintessential kick-ass broad. It always starts with a breakfast burrito in, in the hair chair. Um, that's the constant. Carrie is fueled by a breakfast burrito. We're always desperate for the next script for the same reason that, you know, audiences are, are waiting for, for the next episode to air. It's interesting now to, to do a show that does have a, a longer life and, you know, there's an opportunity to really become intimate with these characters and to experience Carrie as a more advanced person, you know. I have faith in the writers that they'll continue making it vital and fresh and, you know, I don't think they want it to be boring for themselves, so so they won't they won't allow it to be boring for us. A game. Okay. <laughs> I'm totally over Jordan Catalano. Um, yeah, I think we know who that is. Oh, bless. She was way involved with that. I missed something once before. I won't, I can't let that happen again. That is not Angela. No, that is, that is Carrie Matheson for Shizzer. What's amazing is when you can feel your life going somewhere, like your life just figured out how to get good, like that second. Yeah, that's Winnie Holtzman. She wrote My So-Called Life, yeah.